guys, welcome to JFB Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 12, Episode 9 of Supernatural, entitled First Blood. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content if there's a day there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the streams, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes just a few seconds. His hat's all caca. There we go. Got to get the crown some respect. Last episode was more of a, like a, a break, a break finale. A lot of cliffhangers, a lot of things going on. Lotus was really good. I enjoyed it. But the boys have been arrested for an attempted assassination on the president. Lotus, Lucifer of the United States. Uh, the girl that has Lucifer's babies out and about, Cass, not really lost her, but that was kind of on him. Not really, but at the same time it was. And uh, Arthur Ketch made himself valuable with that damn goose egg. So for now... I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. Maybe. One second. Boop. And let's watch First Blood. Make sure we got subtitles too. Cool. Mama. I hate that she just gives such mom vibes as well. Like, you see her and you're like, yep, that's a mother. Hello. Pet, pet, pet. Castiel? Mary. Where are you? They might as well went ahead and named John Joseph and just had Joseph and Mary. Fuck it. Go, go, go all out. Cass, what's wrong? Ah, uh, ah, uh, well. Quiet times, okay. What do we know about him? A lot. Brothers. Well, there's one thing. Roll credits. Kansas to Mary Winchester, deceased. Except a lie. John Winchester, also deceased. FBI started investigating them back in 2007. For what? Assault, murder, Multiple counts of desecrating a corpse. The same corpse? No, different corpses. Not that it would make a fucking difference. They made the FBI's most wanted in 2011, then died in a shootout with police in Ankeny, Iowa. At least that's what their file said, but apparently not. Apparently. But the last thing he remembers was saying his nightly prayers three days before it happened. Drug? Lab's running a talk screen now, but yeah. Probably. Oh, he ain't gonna tell y'all about how he was making nightly prayers to Lucifer, who then invaded his body. With consent, though. And by probably, you mean maybe. And by maybe, you mean, I don't know. So next time, just say you don't know. Oh, I've seen folks waterboarded, cut on. And they talk. Ooh, they do. But they never tell you what you need. And the best part about that is he doesn't know who he's talking to. So just like how Sam went through it with uh, Tony the Tiger. Hey, I've been possessed by Lucifer. Dean's been to hell and, and cut up and done things to his self. Or had things done to him. Torture him all you want to, bro. It's not going to go well. It's going to suck. But they got good constitutions. You know what does work, though? Every time? Nothing. See, when I leave, that door closes. And it stays closed. And you stay in the dark. Now, maybe that doesn't sound so bad. But after a month? A year? You spend enough time staring at these walls, just you and all that and nothing. You'll get so crazy to talk, to see someone real. You'll tell me exactly what I need. They're going to probably get You'll out this episode. It'll just take some time. Oh, okay. He's got a point, though, the nothingness. Of course, the thing is... I start drawing on the walls. After what you did... Supernatural! And they can also drink from the sink if they so needed to. A portable type right there. Let me see your hands. Come on. Let me see your hands. Yeah. All right. Looking for calif. Soft. Soft. Oh, thank you. You ever hunt anything? That's the dumbest I'm shit in the world, tactical. too, by the way. No. You got soft hands, boy. Shut the fuck up. 
You know, it's crazy. Working in warehouses. Lifting weights. Nothing. I ain't got a single nothing. I got baby soft hands. Go fuck yourself. Sure Why you gotta be a... Too painful. Why you gotta be a dick Probably about those it? Soft hands of yours, man. You didn't even finish the... It's for the burger. You didn't even finish the burger. You took like two bites of it. I don't understand people wasting food and shows. In short, the American hunters have proven... That they're idiots. Difficult. Yeah. As for the Winchesters... You left them. No, I... Dean told me to go. The woman... The one you lost? I didn't. I... I thought mm. that she Stop was Stop making excuses! Ciao, Tom! I mean, they gave you not even a scoop of mashed potatoes. Somebody picked that shit up with two fingers and threw it in there. Uh... Two, half a fucking ladle of corn. You got some apple juice and some sort of sirloin steak. Salisbury steak. That's what I was looking for. No salt either. Ate that shit dry. Oh, today, look at that. You got two pieces of bread. You got two pieces of bologna. Two pieces of white cheese. More apple juice. And one, two, three, that looks folded actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven potato chips. Look at this. What we got? We got an apple, uh, some orange juice today, one piece of bread, what looks to be, I want to say diced potatoes, but it's actually looks like some, this is some, uh, some sort of dry cereal. And then eggs. Got an apple though. You said that twice. This is now the third time they've used this same video, pushing through the same piece of uh, potatoes, corn, and meat right there, because the corn's in the same order it's been in the other two times. I pity the fool. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, it's crazy. It's Mr. T heard stories about how people getting, you know, fought for the country. They came back. They were disrespected based off the color of their skin, right? So he chose the name Mr. T. So when people said his name, they would have to say Mr. before addressing him. That's a big brain play. I was introduced to Mr. T through the World of Warcraft commercial. He was a, a night elf mohawk. Remember that shit? There's like a billion of them down here and we need help. Where are you? Look at that, bro. Just like that. Mama back in the game. That is cool if we get Alicia and her brother back again because they were dope. I don't know if I... Yeah, I did say that he was Jesse already. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. They gave you an electric razor? I feel like that's too much. Do you get to shower at all? Are they really going to leave you in there? Like, you don't have any, like, running... You have your sink water, but, like, Sam's doing crunches. You're going to get sweaty. That room's going to start to stink. Push-ups. Damn. Thanks for meeting me. We go back. You and me. Yeah. A, win no. a Winchester and an angel. No, I only get in your way. Oh, Cass is getting in his own head. Don't have a pity party, Cass. It's okay, bro. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Some more chippy, some more Bologna. I feel like that's the same chips from earlier, just an op op a different shot. Pick it. Chow time. Oh, he loves saying that shit. Yo, eat up. Get that other cell open. Now! Gone. Dead. Dead. He's dead. These boys done did some shit, huh? Yeah, that or Crowley helped. Child time. <laughs> I don't get it. They both died on the same day? That's not... How's that even possible? I got you, you brother. They're brothers. That's just what happens. Yeah. For the last two months, we've done nothing but sit around with our junk in our hands because you wanted to wait them out. 
That really worked. <coughs> what the fuck y'all do? I got some secret death technique. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I've been better. I've been worse. Looks like it worked. You smuggle something in your assholes? I've heard about that. You eat a bunch of bologna, you pass out. Called a stroke. How? Where are we? I, I I don't know. Answer it. Seriously, they blindfold me every day before they bring me to work. I. This place, it's not supposed to exist. I would just be like, hey, you know, we still gotta choke you out, right? Like, I, I still got to choke the shit out of you. So just hold tight for a minute. <laughs> Clear. You got here quickly. Yeah. Drive fast. See, Belt. What do you think we're walking into? I don't know. We may want backup. Crowley, Rowena. The King of Hell and his mother, the witch? Cass's first person he thought of was Crowley, and that makes me super happy. Better than that. I may have an idea. Good. Seatbelt on. I drive fast. Seatbelt. Thank you, Mama Mary. <laughs> hey, it's in Purgatory Woods again. Bam, 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 bam. This is your idea? They, they, they may have struck a deal with Crowley is the only possible thing I can think of. I don't think they would strike a deal with Lucifer because apparently he's back in the cage, but we also don't know about that either. Because they just kind of brought out that egg. So. Confliction. The people that almost killed my boys, they're going to be our backup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sending yeah, the yeah, demon yeah. and his mommy to look so bad. Yeah, they helped us with Lucifer. That's right, that's Lucifer? The Lucifer? Yes. Yes. Wait, so you're telling me what happened in Indianapolis was you took on the bleeding devil himself? Yes. Did it's you not... win? We yes. always do. <laughs> Bravo. But? See, hey, these British boys, they... listen, y'all biting off too much uh, beans for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? You got a little too much uh, dip on your chip. Which in their case would be dip on their crisps. These boys, they be handling Lucifer. They're buddies with God. We took on her, his sister. We took on the horsemen of the apocalypse. Dean killed death and Hitler. Sam went to college once and watched his girlfriend die on the ceiling. They've been through a lot, you know? Sam and Dean were taken. Dean uh, mind wiped his, his, his girlfriend and her child. No, I don't trust these peeps because I feel like if they really wanted to help, they would be forthright in helping. There's something weird about him, and his beard looks fake. It bothers me. I'll get our text to put a satellite over the area. You can do that, and so much more. I think they're they're technologically advanced, and Mary may be more keen to befriending them but i would still hold my suspicions i don't want to be the suspicious type and count people out but something about it uh, do you have a weird idea vibe. what sort of trouble we're walking into no oh good i do like a surprise well what we have here is a failure to communicate because we're not trapped out here with you you're trapped out here with us. You're trapped out here with us. You watch too many movies. <laughs> oh, shit. Are they willing to go that route and actually... The, the humans. That'll work. I'm still waiting for the bear trap.
<laughs> in the fucking toes. Yeah. Oh. Ah, right in the thigh. Good night. Go. Y'all are highly trained professionals, but you're on some amateur shit. Hello! There you go, buddy. First aid kit. Yeah, you'll be all right. We know where we put them shots. Hey. Hey, I come. Harshy blows. I know that shit fucking sucks. I told you. Trapped. You guys still got the old man to account for. Get Shut up! Go. Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. That's that brotherly bond shit right there. You want the truth? The president was possessed by the devil. We saved his life. There it is. That's the truth. Take it or leave it. Now you can take that and do what you want with it. But if you come after us, you know what'll happen. <laughs> hey, they played you boys like some fools. Who are you? We're the Winchesters. We're the guys who saved the world. That works too. Whoosh. Sam, Dean. Cass. 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 Mama. Mama. We should get the people we left. They'll call for backup any second. Uh, you left survivors? Yeah, they're humans. They were soldiers. Just doing what they were told. Exactly. Still, a bit unprofessional. We'll handle it. Yeah, they're... Let's get... Oh, don't trust that bridge. See what happens is you go over that bridge, it's gonna collapse, you're gonna be in the water, stuck together in the car, and then Stefan's gonna show up and he's just gonna save Matt. And then all the rest of you will die and come back as vampires. Oh. Did y'all make a did y'all summon a crossroad demon? Oh, Billy. Sup? Did y'all make a deal with Billy? There's only one way we were getting out of there, and that wasn't breathing. So I made a call. Billy. Dean talked with her, and then Billy came to see me. Inch. Come midnight, a Winchester goes bye-bye. Like, permanent. And that is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. Huh? Why would you? We were already dead. Being locked in that cell with nothing. No. I've been to hell. This was worse. So being in hell on a torture rack or what do you say, 40 years or something? Doesn't compare to sitting in the room with the fucking lights off every once in a while. For a couple months. You had food, you had four walls, you had silence. Sure, you didn't have no entertainment. Yeah, you'll go stir crazy. But I'm ah, pretty sure hell's worse. At least this way, one of us gets to keep fighting. Bound in blood. A blood pack! Oh, you need a tetanus shot, brother. You ain't gotta worry about it. You're gonna die regardless. Rusty ass bolt. Y'all nasty. You break that, there's consequences on a cosmic scale. So who's it gonna be? Me. Me. Seen that shit coming. Mom, no, Mom, no, no. You say come midnight a Winchester dies? I'm a Winchester. I'm a Winchester. Works for me. Mom, don't. What the fuck? I 
no. Kiss! Is that even legal? Kiss, what have you done? What had to be done? He said, I ain't losing none of y'all. You know, this world will not let you die. I won't let any of you die. No, oh, Kiss. And I won't let you sacrifice yourselves. You mean too much to me. To everything. Talk your shit, Cass. Yeah, you made a deal. Fuck that deal. You made a stupid deal, and I broke it. You said I'll deal with the consequences. You're welcome. There's only a minute 49 left. We'll, we'll wait for a second. For better or worse. Let it cook for a moment. True. They did leave loose ends, but... Try you. Let you change. That's what Mr. Ketch is for. Bro. You ain't... You ain't have to do all that shit. Like they said, they were just doing their job. It was Mary. She gonna say deal or I'm listening. Mm. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Something about him. They give me a weird vibe. I don't fuck with them. Sam and Dean desperately seek an escape route after being placed in a high-level government facility for attempting to assassinate the president. I've been wondering if we were gonna come back around at any point to the like assassinate not assassination stuff, to um them being in trouble, maybe with the government or by police or something. It had been far too long with them going without being caught or like, you know, recognized or any of that stuff. Every time it's kind of had split moments, they've, they've played it off well, like at that weird house with like the whodunit episode. Um, they were like, those Winchesters? Like, oh, no, 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 no. We're just, just similar names and faces. That's all. Weird coincidence. We get it all the time. Yeah. Can Cass even kill Billy like a Reaper? I mean, she doesn't, she isn't death, but she's taking over what it felt like for death. And the episode, while keeping that reveal about what happened, I mean, you had a really cool scene, but then it bounces back to that. Where it's like, you know, they made a deal. Like, this was worse than hell. This is the worst thing we've ever been through after showing they could be literally tortured uh, in the first few episodes to, yeah, just put them in a room. That's all you got to do for a few months, and then they'll 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 talk about everything. So that, that feels a bit weird. And this was their first episode back. Yeah, see, uh, Lotus was December eighth, twenty sixteen. This was January twenty sixth, twenty seventeen, which crazy enough is almost uh, well is uh, seven years ago. Twenty seventeen being seven years ago makes me want to vomit. But um, yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like I like the episode, but I'm also, I'm not 100% sold. Cast killing Billy with his angel sword is a wild maneuver. Mary to have the thought process of like, I know you guys went through shit, you know, dying, me dying when you was a kid. How about I blow my brains out in front of you and see what type of trauma that leaves you, you know? But now she's going to try to get in cahoots with these peeps, the British men of letters. Is that going to go well? Like I, They seem too good to be true on the surface. I think that's why I'm so hesitant about them. I don't, I don't see them. I don't know. I feel like they would just help and help set them up. They're, they're making a big fuss about it. And they set Tony up the whole last episode of season 11. And she's been in what, two, three episodes? Weird. I don't know how I feel about it. The whole mental letters thing, I'm, I'm still indifferent. There's some really good shit in here. My main focus has been on Mary, but I'm, compared to seasons 8, 9, 10, and 11, uh, this feels in a weird place. And obviously there's a whole season to tell the story, but it's just it's kind of expressing where I'm at in my head so far with it. So for season 12, episode 9 being entitled First Blood will lead into episode 10 entitled Lily Sunder Has Some Regrets. And I'll see you there.
Well, Link's and we didn't even get to see uh, the brother sister that they called though. Hmm. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated. I'll catch you on the next one.